All right, hello and welcome back. This uh, post is about how to spot the emotionally unavailable man. This is probably the hardest post to talk about. Why? Because I've been emotionally unavailable for most of my life. <laughs> so this is um, something that is slightly cathartic to talk about, but I think it's important. Um, women talk to me quite a bit about this, and um, I've, got a, I've done a vul vulnerable share uh, on this part of the website on this part of the post um, about um, the idea of uh, are we emotionally available to each other and what that looks like and how this is happens. And so it, there's a couple things that, that people, that, that women talk to me about when it comes to um, relationships and the sharing of emotions. Um, what you're gonna experience here is the reversed, the reverse of what I tell men. So let's jump in. Um, Ideally, you want to be in a space of kind of a twin flame scenario. You've got your uh, spot, you are lacking nothing, you are needing nothing, you're meeting your own needs, which is why we did so much work around the inner woman and creating a foundation and so that you come to this circle um, complete, lacking nothing, ready to go. Ideally, you want to attract good men, good men as defined by men that also have their own thing going on. They need nothing, they're lacking nothing, they're meeting their own needs, they're emotionally ready and available. And then together, you feed this third circle. This third circle happens in every relationship, especially relationships of men and women, and even especially relationships of romance. Um, very rarely is it is it, you know, two people meet and they're just this, these these powerhouses and they just form and uh, judgments are the same and religious ideals and spiritual backgrounds and thoughts on money and children and values and things that we are are all just perfect. That it's just it's so rare. It's not really even worth talking about. Um, relationships are intended to grow us and they're intended to. Uh, to kind of dance in and um, they reveal things in us that we don't like and they reveal things in us that we love and they're intended to nurture and even slightly expose um, and create that vulnerability and being emotionally available is required for that to happen and so there's a couple of key principles a lot of women come and they say you know he's not emotionally available because he's not sharing how he's feeling well that doesn't mean he's emotionally unavailable what that typically means is that he doesn't trust you. And so um, something I tell men, I tell, I'm telling men this in the way I'm telling you. I tell men when it comes to romance, um, especially in areas of sexuality, that you are to, women are to be romanced slowly, right? You're not a tequila shooter, you're a glass of fine wine to be appreciated and experienced. And this is to be done uh, with intention and with safety, and that's what makes y'all open up. You're, you're probably nodding about right now, going, yeah, that sounds fantastic. Um, well, that's what I'm telling men. I want y'all to do the exact same thing in this space. And this is why we've been talking to you so much about your uniqueness and your effervescence and your lightheartedness, because you're not bringing your entire bonfire into this third circle. You're creating something. It's a, it's a small flame. It's it's kindling. You, you, there's a spark, right? And when the guy starts to feel safe around you, right? When you don't jump in and let's share and and do that type of intensity, it's few men that can really handle that. I'm a man who enjoys that, but I'm not most men. Most guys um, need to feel safe and secure when it comes to their emotions. Um, and I want to talk to you about why, all right? And so men and women are doing the exact same thing to each other in two areas. We rush you into sex, you rush us into the sharing of emotions, and we completely miss each other. And if both of these things slowed down, this would totally heal the, the sexes and the, the uh, cataclysmic uh, divide between the genders, all right? Both of us need to slow down on this. You all need to be romanced. And so I'm, I'm talking about that intentionally so you'll get it, because you know how that sucks. You know how a man's just trying to get your clothes off, get you in bed, and roll you out the next morning, right? We feel that way when you try to 
there's almost an indignation in me about this right now. Like, like I can feel that. Like when a woman's pulling something from me that I'm not ready to share, um, man, it's like I feel that. It, just in talking about it, I feel about it. And I'm ridiculously emotionally available. <laughs> so if I feel this way, I guarantee you every other man on the planet on some level feels this pressure. And so I want to talk to you about uh, the, the degrees of how we share and why we need that safety. Men are bred to make you happy. We've already talked about this. Um, they want to be the reason that you come alive and that you feel good and that, that you look to us and go, that makes me happy. In being that, we would rather die than see then have you see us fall off our white horse. You know what that means? We're very knightly. You know, we're, we're, we, we want that virility. And men are dead at 40 and buried at 80 because there's a chink in their armor that they never can expose, they never can reveal, they never can heal from, and you don't see it because it, there's a chink in their armor and there's a wound and they're bleeding out for decades. They're just bleeding out, not being able to express their, their sensuality. Um, especially in areas of religion, uh, there could be tremendous shame and grief as it relates to um, uh, their desires and their sexuality. And so it's, it's an epidemic. Guys are, are, are addicted to porn. Um, they're over drinking. 76% of us are overweight. And so it, it, as you're sitting here probably nodding your head and kind of going, oh my God, what do I do? Get this. As a woman, you have the ability to heal the planet in this space. Now that's not your job, but it is ridiculously empowering if as a woman you understand this. I am the man I am today because of amazing women that healed me and loved me through tremendous trials, um, heart-wrenching pain, and times I didn't think I'd make it. So I told you this would be hard to talk about. Um, and so women, you must understand that when you go slow, and when you take an interest, even if it's in a sports or something maybe you don't care about that's just really guy, we, we look and we're like, my God, she's cool. Oh, she's fun. And, and you're going to hear him say stuff like this. Um, you're different. I like you. Um, I like your hair. I like your dress. Um, you'll start hearing him uh, put together uh, little plans. Uh, my friends are having a party. I want you to come go with me. Or, hey, have you ever tried that restaurant? They're fishing. They're fishing to see, can they trust you in these little areas? And when a woman comes to the relationship healed, grounded, secure, not codependent, meeting her own needs, she's able to almost rapture a man in from a place of, I don't necessarily want to say woundedness, but more privacy. A place where his emotions have been shared typically only with a few, and this is why men have a hard time with divorce, because we share these things only with one woman. We may share our sexuality, which has caused problems, but our emotions are only shared with you, whereas you women, you typically share your emotions with friends and family and, and openly, you know? And so um, this is a key, key principle um, that, that needs to go long and that you understand when you're able to read uh, a man who is going slow with you in regards to his emotionally availability, this is what's happening. Um, and, and to trust that sixth sense, you know, kind of that good old gut that guys have, we all have that beautiful sixth sense that tells you, is this man on the same plane? Is he, is he ready to meet you with the emotional intelligence that you've developed in yourself? And that's an answer that, or a question, an answer that has to be uh, formulated by you in the moment with each guy that you meet. Um, but it's important that you do it with a, a strong understanding of what I'm talking about here. And that if a guy's not sharing himself with you, it doesn't always mean that he's emotionally unavailable. It just doesn't. Especially in this day and age of personal development and evolved consciousness and all these practices that were that were um, that are commonplace. Yoga is getting more commonplace, and you see guys going into these places that they didn't uh, as little as 20 years ago. And so men are evolving, albeit you are evolving faster 
men are catching up and um, this is a huge part we want to know when it comes to emotions and hear me when I say this that you won't reject us rejection every man is terrified of rejection rejection from other men so they compete they perform they they acquire and do their thing and they're terrified of rejection from uh, women which is why you get uh, pickup lines and why you get um, dodginess of commitments and he doesn't want to settle down with one woman or he don't want to get a pet together this is all tied into that sense of things and so ladies if you can get to the point where you can quickly determine it, and all you're looking for is effort you're just looking for a man that is trying that is trying to connect that is trying to share the inner workings of his heart in the language that he knows and it will be different than yours it just will be uh, and and even in highly evolved very conscious tribes they still have this problem they have um, a better uh, sense of dialogue about it they have um, more sophisticated definitions you know conscious awake aware that's great but this is a human condition and um, if ladies if ladies you will slow down and capture that moment when he is sharing and just shut up and just listen and your only response is one of Intrigue, fascinate, fascination, encouragement, not over encouragement. <laughs> we just want to know that you can receive and that you don't reject and that, or worse, and or worse, judge. We don't want to be judged, we don't want to be rejected. And who does? This is how it's showing up in the evolution of the sexes. We get this, men, uh, we, we would slowly romance you, and women, you would romance the emotions out of us. And this is, this is that, 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 that uh, cars passing in the night. It's, it's this right here. Um, that, that, that men would uh, sexualize and romance you slowly, and women would learn to romance the emotions out of men. And we would all connect beautifully and brilliantly. Understand there's a, there's a mother wound in every man, in every man, even the men, sometimes especially so, that had good mothers. And when a man understands that and he walks through it and he goes through his healing, uh, he will carry that into his relationships with women. And he'll be a little more open about that, be a little more honest. And um, that's truly a good man. That's an evolved man. That's a man that, that is trying and um, your abilities to not fix. This is crucial. Not fix and just accept and just receive and let him emote into this will create ridiculous power to that third ball or that third flame, that third entity that I've described here. You're, you're feeding it with acceptance. He's feeding it with small shares. And in that, intimacy builds because you've just shared vulnerable, you've just been authentic in it, the best way you know how, and intimacy will form. It's, it's inevitable, you can't help it. And so uh, um, test this, play with this. When you begin to slow and ask the man small questions, give him a bite-sized piece. Hey, how do you feel about, eh, say whatever, right? How do you feel about that? Keep it light. Um, he'll go deeper, let a man go deeper and you can explore him and I just trust me we are magnificent and beautiful creatures and we do want to show up for you powerfully we want to show up to you with strength and vigor we want to love and ravish you well and when a man's heart is uh, pure and clean and um, he feels safe in the space um, you will experience the absolute glory the glory of God yeah. So thanks for listening. Let's get on to your next post. Appreciate you being here and um, appreciate you uh, letting me share this uh, from a very, very deep place of um, emotions and healing and uh, a lot of work. It's been an honor.